Eduardo, any questions today? I know everything. Pedro. Sweep off a pass? Huh? Come on, Pedro. I can't get it. Wait, what? Sweep from a pass? How could he sweep from a pass? I, I see that sweep off a pass. I see him. Sweep off a pass. A guy's passing, go for a sweep. Oh, you have so many like So you want to know what you just see? Don't put that shit on the way. Is that anyone you want to show? I mean, the guy's passing. Okay, I have. You got. I wonder if he's talking like what I You know, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, like. Let me show what I have a good one. Like, he go. He go. You got a good grip. He go past me. I trust you. Damn it, she's going Okay. The guy gonna try to pass my guard Torihando, like he grabbed my pants and have his sleeve here. Okay? When he start to pass him, I let him come, my hand go in his belt, and when he's like a little bit higher, keep going. Right now I'm gonna pull his belt and at the same time I'm gonna punch his his hand against his belly and force him to go that way. Just go. But that position just work if I do the motion he try to pass because I use the momentum. Like when he's leaning forward, I use the momentum to push him up. I need to grab the, his sleeve and punch his hand against his belly and pull him around my head, and that way he's gonna fall. Yeah, okay, I use the, the, his pressure to help me to do it. Yeah. All right, that's good. One more time. One more time. Okay. Here, grab the sleeve, start to pass and grab the belt. Now I just push, just follow him, and that will come. Okay. What are you telling me that's not the matter there? What's the matter with you? Oh, the way you ask oh, is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's spanning. Spanning with you. Maintaining back control, because I can't get my hooks in. <laughs> okay, you, you want to know how to put the hook in? No, how to maintain the back control, because it's hard for me to keep that. Like, I, I like to, uh, I think it can work better for you to have the, the small legs, okay? If you have a longer leg, you're gonna work over, all right? If you have a small, you gotta go under, all right? Uh, what I like to do here, both your arms under, okay? Grab double appels, okay? I wanna help put my leg under, right? What am I doing? One side, I lift my elbow and push his lapel down. That way, create some space, and now I come with my leg going, okay? And now I'm gonna do the same for the other side. They can lay lay for this side a little bit, lift the elbow and go over. And go like just like that. Okay? Because like for example, if I'm I, I have long legs, you know, I like to go over like that. You know, that help me and also I can choke because I block. But if that happen for me, you know, I try to go over, he kinda probably lift his elbow and now I just come with my leg over here, you know, kinda slide in and now I have the help. And after you have the hook, it doesn't matter if your leg is longer or small, it's gonna work the same. You know, we just find it right now, you can go for the choke. The difference or no? You got it? You think it's gonna help you? Yeah, I think after you have the hook, you know, try to like keep the grips in tight, really tight, and go for the choke. Sure. On the plato, we use your other leg to hook. <laughs> All right, we got a platter, okay? Uh, the difference, normally we lock here, we can lock, but I want to have my grip around my leg and grab the collar behind the neck. All right, now I can open or I can keep it locked, whatever. Now I have two options, I can just wait for him to expose the leg, if not, yeah, or now I hook his leg, or if not, I start to turn my butt to him like that, okay? And pressure my knee down, that way he will wanna, he probably will, will try to roll forward, you know? I'm just gonna follow him, and now I come and hook his leg, all right? But you can, I need to open my leg for that one. Now, keep pulling down the collar, my heel gonna push down, and now I start to move my hips in, and my knee up, and he will touch for me, okay? Here, grab, oh, also I can just post my hand, put that foot on the floor, butch up, and go, I hook all the way, and now I hook his leg. That way it's easy to just, right now you're gonna pull him back, 
and now I end up in the same position. Okay, you can push both. Let it roll, or you drive your leg down and hook the leg. You're always going for that outside leg? Uh, no. Okay, so you close, want the inside, okay. close leg is, is tight, but the outside leg is easy to have. But if you have that one, it's gonna make it worse for you. Okay. Alright, second. Break dance. Break dance. Okay, I'm doing uh, the butterfly, <coughs> the, the break dance, right? What happens, people all the time smash my leg and do the, the smash pass. People push down and now he like drop the leg. Yeah, it's like right there. What I try to do, I try to hook that leg over here. Uh, that way I stop it. He normally, everybody kicks this leg back, kick the leg back, and the right leg, like that. And he wanna pass like that. What I'm doing, I hook the bottom leg, okay, grab his belt, and now I follow him a little bit and bring my other leg under, okay? After I have that hook here, he needs to move back, all right? When he moves back, move this leg back, okay? The motion he moves, one more time, go back. The same motion he moves, I try to catch his leg, okay? And now I'm pulling my elbow down, okay? Pull his forward in the same motion, and now I'm kicking my leg. Follow him and try to pass from here. Okay, basically, I'm gonna do it. Okay, that's why it's called the break dance because you move the legs like the break dance. So it's an uh, dance, right? Again, he smashed me. I mean, hook the bottom leg. So, grab his belt and keep his shoulder under my arm pitch. All right, now I gotta put his hook on there. I can just move myself a little bit back and put my hook in. Okay, now I just gonna pull him, catch the leg, and go. Okay, normal the same motion I'm doing, he try to step this leg back. And now I hook the leg here, and then move back a little bit. I'm in the hook. Okay, now I hook the leg here. Thoughts on opening someone like Nick's guard? Say again? Thoughts on opening someone like Nick's guard? Long legs. Which one you if you're asking, right? Yeah, because it's yet to be pulled off. <laughs> I like for, for me it's so easy to train a few guys long leg because my leg is free inside so easy. So I have the same long leg hard. So do you not you just you just want to sit down? Yeah, I try to put my knee between the leg. If I have my knee between the leg, I'm completely fine. I don't, I'm don't. i not worried about it. So I'm trying to... Uh, long leg guys, I always I try to get up, okay? I don't stay on my knees because it's dangerous. Like, he tried to do normal, he grabbed on his sleeve, and he forced me to pulse my hand. He pushed me, let's say, he just pushed me and pulse, and he tried to go for triangle. That's his main game, triangle or spider guard, whatever. All the time I'm doing, I get up, by the way, because I don't want to let him play that game, you know? So when I have you no know, chance, I'm going to grab his, uh, his leaf and get up. When I get up, his leg is so long, kind of, see that gap between me and Sam, you know? I just be here, I put one ear in his butt, and now I slide down. If my knee between the legs. It's too luck, you know? I just need to worry right now because I'm so unbalanced for this side. It's easy for him to flip me. What am I doing? I lean for this side, post my hand on the floor and bring my elbow in. Now, I just control here. I use my elbow to push my leg against his leg. I keep all my weight here and just start to push. And he will open. If he's not open, I just keep driving and I end up in the side control. And the half glass side. And now I just pass, you know? Basically, I try to put my knee in. It's easy, he let me doing that because for him it's still fine. I just try to put my, my weight for the opposite side. If I have my knee up, my right knee, I go for the left, elbow in, and now I start to drive my knee forward and go up right. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, what's the um, what's your favorite way to pass the Z guard when the feet are locked? What's the knee shield, right? Yeah, knee shield, yeah. All right, I like to move my hips. Look, I'm here, I'm here. I grab his, his collar, and his arm, I like to have his arm is on the floor over here. Okay, what am I doing? Toes on the floor, move up a little bit, and now I move my hips that way. Like, I'm here, look, when I move my knee, gonna come in a little bit, boom. And now I 
just slide down and go forward. Okay? But the key here is the hard way you put your knee out, okay? Basically, you put a pull like can, it, sometimes you gotta shake a little bit, and now you're feeling, you punch down, go all the way down. As soon as I feel my knee a little bit high over his calf, I'm able to punch my knee down and slide and just press. And, um, that's even if they're like really, like really controlling yeah. with that knee. I mean, when, when I'm here, when I put my toes, I create a little space. I drive my hips, my whole body over here, and I punch that way. That way he creates some space. If I need to let it go here and put my hand to help me to bring my knee, and I can go. Right. Okay, you can with the hand back and forth, you know? And so you're, it's like a knee coming, you're cutting over the... Yeah, cap. I know how I go for the cat. Yeah. Because I go here, he's able to lock my feet. That's why I always I punch you down. Cause it's gonna be hard for him to lock my feet inside. My foot inside. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how Leandro though? Hip switches. He just shows. He, he goes. I was talking to Manny about it. He brings a leg. He brings a leg up. Hip switching. You know what, you know what I mean? No, I don't know what. Same. Like, so from like, so from like a failed knee cut with here. Boom. High pressure. Come to my leg. I'm coming here, but I'm getting caught as I'm switching. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think you just need to really try to kick your leg higher, you know? You're here, you're right, you're right here, grab. I don't like to put that knee on the ribs. I like to drop my hip from the floor. I like to go here and here. Uh, you know, my, my leg just on the floor, and that way I have a little bit more space to kick my leg. Because when it goes my leg over his head, you know, I get my knees too tight, right. you know, if the guy follow me, he can trip me, you know, and also I don't have a nice angle to kick my leg out. I prefer to be here, that way I'm able to push his leg away and bring my leg over. We're gonna do basically the same, I, I don't wanna throw my shoulder on his face, but I'm here, switch, basically I'm gonna really throw my shoulder over here, boom. So you don't go over, the, you go for like a cross face. I prefer to go over the cross, on the cross face, but because when you go here, if the guy is good in the flip, yeah, he can follow me and just kick me over, you know? That's why I prefer to go on the shoulder and the face. Okay. But you both fade the way you work, you know, you can do try both and see what you want to work better for you. Okay. You know? But yeah, try don't with your knee on the belly. You know, try to go with your hips on the floor, that way maybe you're gonna work better for you. He's uh, Leandro is so fucking like flexible and all these kind of games, it's so different, like, it's the effort regular people try to do the same. Right. Try to do that way better, maybe you're gonna work better, okay? Okay guys, uh, I'm here with David and for some reason I put my butterfly hook or he put my legs inside, doesn't matter, okay? Something happy, I end up with my butterfly hooks, okay? I wanna have his arm across, okay? That's a great position to do with big guys. When you have the arm across from big guys, you prevent for his noise mesh yourself, you know, you can keep his weight away. Okay, what am I doing? I grab the, his sleeve, I like to go with my arm under, and do a big punch here, and at the same time I pull his arm, okay, to break the grip. So when I have this, I try to sit up and grab the belt, okay? When I sit up here, I need to be on my elbow, okay? And I turn a little bit to use my whole body like a wall. My belly gonna block his elbow to not bring it back, you know? And also I keep holding his sleeve, and I lock my elbow here, okay? That way I keep him, don't let him go away, because I keep pulling him with my, my, my hand in his belt. And I have my belly here to prevent him from not going for the uh, for not bringing his elbow back. Okay, now I'm going for the sweep. I will lay down and use all my momentum to bring him over me. Okay, I wanna bring his shoulder higher. Okay, and at the same time I'm gonna use my left leg to sweep him for this side. Okay, I'm here and now I punch his arm over. Okay, and bring him for this side. Okay, I follow him, normally I end up exactly in that position with my feet inside, I just need to slide my leg out and stabilize the, the, the one position. Okay, one more time. Again, I'm here, okay, my arm go under, break the grip and bring his arm across in the same motion. I move my hips a little bit sideways, okay, and come up on my elbow and grab his belt. So I grab the belt, I got a lock. Okay, just pull my elbow down and keep my elbow really tight. Okay, keep pulling his belt for don't let it go away. Okay, 
Now I gotta sweep. When the time I'm going for sweep, I will lay down and I use my hand for bringing him over me. Okay? Look, how he's reaching over my legs right now. Okay? Now I'm gonna use my left leg. The right leg doesn't need to do anything. Just my left leg to kick him that way. And at the same time, I use my hand to push his hand up and push against his shoulder. Okay? Like that. All right? And I follow him. And now I just put my leg out and stabilize the position. Okay? Any question, guys? No? Let's try. Okay. One, two, three. 